Well, <laughs> another day in the shop. Dan here, AD Speed Shop. So yesterday, or last video, we were color matching this. That actually doesn't look as bad on camera, but it's still pretty rough. We gotta, we gotta do something there. But that's the way it's gonna be. So we did one side, which is probably the wrong way to do it. Paint one side while I still have to body work the other side. But it's what I wanted to do. And uh, ultimately, I want to see if the paint was even gonna look good. It was gonna be close enough color. And it's not bad. Actually, I really do like this color. So this is the you know, little section of blending we're gonna have to figure out. That way, you kind of follow this line. So we'll you know, blend that in with some polishing all the way down the back. It'll be what it's gonna be. Now this side, where we left it was actually further along than the other side. So I'm hoping it's uh, Sunday morning, a little bit of a late start, I went over breakfast this morning, so it's about 10 o'clock. I think, well, I know it's gonna be painted today. It's all a matter of uh, how low you get your standards to accomplish production. Now, this is not bad. It's a little lumpy, but honestly, you know what? It's probably just livable the way it is. I might just schmuck it and do a little bit of airboarding. I'll get in here and fix this up just a little bit, but that's that wheel arch is full of fiberglass. Fortunately, this door is actually in much nicer shape than the other side, so I should be able to airboard this all down. A little bit of you know filler here and there. We gotta fix the fender up a little bit, a little bit of primer, and it's ready for paint. So 10 o'clock. I'm gonna jam. I'd like to kind of be painting this thing by uh, one o'clock. Three hours seems about right to bodywork, prep, mask, mix paint and start shooting, right? We'll see if I can hold up to that. Honestly, the corner wasn't terrible. I'll do a little bit around the wheel arch. The door, there's a lot of filler on it, but there's because there's all sorts of little pinholes and chips and stuff, we'll sand most of that off. Load it on, sand her off. Uh, we got in the door jam. I got a second coat in there, all ugly. So I'll clean that all up. I had to do that little patch there, a little filler on that. And then, what else we got? Oh, up in here, I gotta hit this with the airboard. It's a little lumpy, so we'll probably Flatten that out as much as we can. Then I just gotta get in here with the little little sander. We should be good. Up in the front, I haven't started on the, on the fender at all. And honestly, I think what I'm gonna do up here, it's so beat up. I'm just gonna clear coat that because I think that'll look cool. Leave it beat up and we'll fix that-ish and carry on working. I think it's a foolproof plan. So enjoy the sanding dust.
Well, I'm a little behind schedule. Danny brought home sandwiches for lunch. So we haven't touched the fender yet. The door's on its final coat, whatever this is, is what it's gonna be ready for primer. Same with that, whatever that is, is what it's gonna be. We got mostly all up in here, taken care of just a little bit down there. Door jam, Ugh. it's all you know, taken care of. Same thing, it's gonna be what's gonna be. I'll literally give me a little bit in there. And then down here, I just put a little, a little skim coat. So we'll get that taken care of and the sill's done. So we should be able to work our way through here and be done. I can then rocker guard down here and uh, start priming back there. All we got left is the fender. So it'll have paint today, just a little later than I was hoping. Okay, so I've jumped ahead just a little bit. Man, I am getting so tired of sanding. So it's uh, about two o'clock, a little behind schedule, but uh, at this point now everything's in primer. It's probably had a half hour, 40 minutes to sit. Probably a little soft still. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna wet sand this thing. Uh, just so nothing kind of gulls up. Uh, the door's pretty straight. Actually, this side should look fairly good. Uh, the, the quarter or the, or the fender should say, man, whatever. It's going to be what it's going to be. And as well as the quarter full of fiberglass should be fine. So I'm going to take a little bit of water and some uh, this is 220 and kind of just go over everything, rough it up real quick. And then I got some 320. We'll go over it one more time. And then wipe it all down. Hopefully more will be coming over. Got my uh, hot shot pink guy on the way. We'll uh, jam it and then do the whole car and then hopefully uh, we're going for supper after. So it should be a good time if he shows up on time. I did tell me already at noon, so it's a good thing he's not here yet actually. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. Let's do a little, uh, little tutorial. So we're gonna go ahead and sweat down the panel. You wanna make sure you use a block on the paper for sure. This might be the wrong thing. We're just gonna kinda Keep it wet so that'll keep all the, the paper from gulling up. I need a double, double long piece here, but it's getting the, the trick. And we're just gonna kinda smooth it out, take off some of the high spots. Just a little bit of filler is gonna come out the way she goes. But the big thing is gonna be prepping the, the painted panel. So we all make sure the paint sticks good. We got some fiberglass, little, you know, bits of filler that fall on it. So we all make sure we get all that off. So the paint is something to bite to. So I'll jam my way through this real quick. It's not gonna take a whole lot. This is a quite a long process if you uh, give a crap about the car. <laughs> but if we're just trying to get some color on there, she's gonna be what she's gonna be. Obviously, I'm doing a talk over on this because, uh, you know, I just hit 100,000 subscribers and uh, everyone thought I was going to go uh, all Hollywood. Turns out I'm so dumb, I forgot to plug in the camera. So here we are. Anyways, uh, this is where I'm explaining that we're really low on paint and I misjudged everything horribly. And I don't think we're going to end up having enough paint to paint the door jams. So instead, we're just doing the outside. Oh, and that's my brother. He's in from Ottawa. He's been in school for like 15 years. He's like a doctor, clearly the favorite. But, uh, well, Merc paint my pile of junk, not his. He actually takes a bus, so not, not a whole lot of competition there. Anyways, uh, we did this awful job masking it because I'm in a hurry. It's uh, like 3 o'clock, and we're trying to go for dinner. Oh, and this wheel, I just bought this wheel, brand new. We took the box apart to do the masking, and I figured I'd put it away so it doesn't get a bunch of overspray on it. So what else we got going on here? Oh, yeah, this is where Mer goes outside, and he's practicing setting up the gun on my fancy four-door door, parts doors. The paint actually doesn't look too bad when he kind of blends it on like that, but uh, she sure dries rather dark. And here I am making fun of his Mercedes a little bit because I think he's stuck in the 80s. I, I always think that's like the car you wish he had uh, if he was like a lawyer in the 80s. He couldn't afford it till uh, well, it's an old pile of junk. So now he's going to lay the paint on. Now, the same as we did on the other side, it's kind of a lot of light, easy coats. Uh, if you put the paint on too thick, 
it'll run. So typically, I mean, paint the, every solid color I've done, you want to kind of put it on there and get good coverage. These, it almost goes on blotchy, which is really, it's hard on the mind when you're putting it all together. Uh, he's doing a little bit of blend job there with my Wicked Masking. Oh, and Ted, that's my brother, he's into film photography, like an absolute psychopath. But uh, yeah, we're getting through it. So Merce putting these light coats on, I'm not going to lie, at this point I'm pretty nervous we're not going to have enough paint. Spoiler alert, it all works out just fine. But uh, yeah, so he lays it down there, kind of nice and easy. I think we end up putting three or four coats on it, just enough. We went excessive on the last video and, and uh, a bunch more painting. I wasn't originally planning on painting the full quarters. So that soaked up a bunch more paint and I'm cheap and didn't want to get any more than I needed. So uh, lesson learned for next time, uh, don't be so cheap. Now, if you're looking at how he's painting, he kind of painted half the quarter and he goes from half the quarter into part of the door. So instead of just doing panel by panel, if you do that every single coat, you end up with a heavy spot front and back of the panels and it can run into runs and stuff like that, especially on this paint with the metallic. I remember, uh, well, the first car I ever had, in Palo, it was a, a gold metallic. We put the paint on real thick, and what happened was we had a run, and when you had a run, all the metallic joined together in the run, and it became this black drip. It looked really weird, and it was terrible. So we're trying to avoid that. So here's Murr doing, uh, well, the best he can. Uh, a lot of people were commenting before on his uh, PPE. So usually he wears painting Crocs. He decided to go with, uh, well, I guess those are Velcro sandals for optimum flow. He's got the stance. He's got the jorts. He, he's ready to go. So he's laying down the paint here. That door did not cover good on the first uh, coat. Again, I didn't have enough primer. So uh, maybe we should have had a little bit more prep and planning on this whole situation. But that, that's really not the DD Speed Shop style, let's be honest. So uh, it definitely bled through. A little bit of high build would have made a big difference. Again, this is where we have it masked kind of lightly. He's going to try and blend into the rest of the paint. And I wouldn't say it goes bad, but it uh, could have been better. There we go. Wow, you can really see how bad the masking job is on this. We didn't even get the whole back window taken care of. But it was Sunday afternoon, and uh, we had a family dinner we were going to, and there was nothing else open for more products. So did the best we could, and I had the best guy I could uh, afford to do the work here, and uh, ultimately it worked out pretty good for the first, uh, the first coat. Another spoiler alert, there were no runs in this entire paint job. I'll look at him trying to close the door. Yeah. You know, he does pretty good work for an old guy. Support a senior, keep him busy, keep him young. Okay, first coat's on. Definitely a little see-through, which was the problem yesterday, but we had a little bit more paint to deal with. So, hopefully we can get three coats on this thing and call it a day. I did, we had one full cup. We actually had a little bit more in this one, so we'll see. I'm confident it's going to go just fine. Oh yeah, there's probably water in there. So we're going to make an educated decision. We have just enough paint, we think, for one more coat. So Murr's going to do his thing and blast on it. It doesn't matter. Get on the water. It's just on the rock. Right? Yeah, I know. I'm just worried about it. Yeah. Pretty fine. We're just going to touch in the, the sill. Hopefully we have a coat or two in there. Oh, right, there's lots of water in there. <laughs> well, that's pretty good. I'll, uh, I'll get a towel in there. Okay, so we're about to put on the fourth coat. Murr just wanted to say that painting the door jam last or in between is, is not the way to go, but uh, it, it's, uh, I'll, I'll take the blame for it. I didn't know if we'd have enough paint. Now we did. I changed my mind halfway through. He also wanted to say he thinks there's all these runs in the paint, but it's actually just horrible sanding scratches <laughs> or lack thereof body work. Look at that. I know. Who would leave that? I know. What kind of idiot? So now I'm going to slam the door while everything is wet. The door jam, the outside. Do you want it just clicked? Like was, yeah, first click with the, with the door. But well, you can... Yeah, that's good. Good enough. So, one more coat. It's actually doing pretty good. 
He is really judging me on my body work here. You can see, look at, you can see what I'm doing in the mirror, Martin. <laughs> it's good enough. Oh yeah. We'll blend that in later. Yeah, that's good enough. I don't see the primer, but I can... Don't see the primer, that means good enough for me. All right, my hotshot painter, he's out of here. So, we got all dialed together, I'm sure. Again, like everything, it looks better on camera. It's, uh, it's definitely rough in person, but I have all sorts of ideas to uh, patina it and ruin it and all sorts of things to make it match the rest of the car. So, I don't know, I think we'll demask it a little bit. It's definitely uh, tacky, but we can, I'll probably be, well, I don't know if I should get that out right away. Anyways, set you up on the something magnetic. Demask this thing and then uh, go to our immerse for dinner. Pretty good day. Okay, new day. Man, these guys are jacking around tight. Still getting concrete work done. Hopefully it'll be done tomorrow. But, um, we started the video, well last video with polishing, and with painting. And then we started this video with terrible body work, and uh, painting, and now we're gonna finish it with some polishing. So you can really see, it has quite a different color. Yeah, we go over this side, and it's uh, less of a different color. Still lighter, no bones about it. Honestly, uh, what I want to do now is I'm going to polish the hood and the fender. We'll see what that looks like. I want to touch into this paint because Murr kind of blended it. There's a hard line there. See what that turns out like. We'll end it there. The next video, we're going to polish the whole car. Well, when I say polish, I mean patina. I got all sorts of ideas how to blend this paint into what the rest of the car is. There's some ugliness there, and I hate to tell you. We're going to scratch it, we're going to sand it, we're going to over buff it, we're going to burn it, we're going to do whatever we got to do to bring down the level of shininess. It probably looks great on camera, I'm not going to lie. Up close, it's wavy, it's bumpy, it's unhappy, and there's orange peel like crazy in it. So, we're going to remedy all those at once and hopefully bring down the color a little bit. Then the roof, I don't know, Mer, Mer couldn't stay in the lines there, so we got to polish the overspray off, but I'm actually really excited to see. We might just do a little little corner right here right now just see what it kind of looks like and we don't have the deck lid now a lot of people are saying why don't you paint the deck lid do this well then all it wouldn't be painting would be around here the roof and the hood so we're almost at a full paint job here but there's just so much wrong with this car that if I fall in love with it maybe we'll fix it I mean getting got benders and all that sort of stuff and I appreciate everyone telling me about how the quarter panels are only $300 $350 American each I hear you $350 Canadian is 500 plus the shipping and tax, 800 bucks a side. That's why I did, though I did. Now, let's polish this sucker. This old paint sure does shine up nice. That being said, I mean, it's uh, sure a little beat up in a few spots there. Definitely new paint is darker. But what we're gonna focus on right now, so I masked it right around this body line, then I had a mask there. So it is kind of dusty and it's not quite as thick there. We definitely have a few issues. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and kind of wet this down. We got some, I think it's 1500 grit. And we're just going to see if we can maybe blend this together a little bit. Gingerly, we might have to go to even 1,000. I don't know, it's starting to go. 
The paint is definitely soft. There's no bones about it. I should probably be using a block on this, but we're not doing that. And uh, I did go into the door with the, uh, the buffer. It didn't mangle the paint or nothing. So if this works out, we should be able to kind of sand that hard line out and, uh, and buff it all together. And then we'll be doing lots of this on edges and all the little kind of hard marks and stuff like that we're gonna have. Hopefully we can sand out some of the orange peel. So water is your friend on that. And as you can see, we have a hard line there up there. She's starting to kind of blend her on in. So we'll go ahead and get this finished up, this little section right, uh, right quick here, all wrong. Oh, I've already, see I've already sanded through the primer there. Genius. But uh, hey. There's really no making it any worse as far as I'm concerned. Honestly, this car would look better if this fender was the same color, but uh, while I ran out of paint, we'll see what happens. Maybe we'll be painting the fenders. <laughs> okay, so here's what we're working on. Obviously, the paint is still a different color, and that's fine. We're just trying to draw the eye away from it being absolutely horrible. Now, down here, I did my wet sanding. I didn't finish off down here. You can still see a hard line, but up here, kind of flows together a little bit. And oh, the light's kind of hitting it in a funny way, but uh, as we kind of get down, you'll see little bits kind of come out and draw your eye away from it. Now over here, I was just kind of experimenting a little bit. I polished hard and brought out some of the, this was a blue fender at some point. So if we bring that out a little bit, and then here I wet sanded, you can see it's still scratchy at the top. I only polished down here, I did, I did down there as well. And you can kind of see it's gonna have a green door. So maybe we can kind of blend that together, make it look a little goofy. The best thing I'm going to do, and you guys are going to absolutely love this, these little marks like that, I think what I'm going to do is pick those out, stuff like that, get in there with my keys or something like that, crap like this, scratch in there, and uh, bring out whatever patina is hiding in these doors. And that'll take away a lot of, you know, it'll look like a ratty patina car with a different front clip on it or something like that, which is not bad. I mean, I'm fine with that. Uh, it's like an old caravan. That's what people are doing now. Now back here, you can see how there's some kind of orange peelness to it. This is, haven't been touched yet. Meanwhile, down here, right in this area, the orange peel's all gone. So you can really see the the reflection there. Obviously, we got a few dents there. As back, it's still reflective, just not as good. So we'll be able to do that to the whole damn car. So that'll be the next video. It's going to be a pile of screwing around and messing stuff up. And, and when you sand, the hard edges come off real easy. I'm excited to mess this up. Mer it's driving him nuts. He's probably going to turn this video off. He's not going to watch the next. So that's what we got going on. Man, this old lacquer does polish up. It's too bad. This wasn't a two-door start, but if it was, I couldn't afford it. Now what I want to do, I want to put just a little bit of this goo. I want to do one little section of the roof. I'm sure you guys are dying to see it as well. See how this white comes out. Maybe we'll do the sail panel. I'm not really too sure. It feels rough. It is thin, though. I did sand through in a few spots on accident. We got the same thing. We got all these little chips and whatnot. I'm excited. Let's get the camera set up. What? <laughs> oh, that came out good. So I think I'm just gonna do this one little section here. See what it looks like. I need some more polish. We got a little, little leftover filler and stuff like that there. And then I'll show you what I was doing to butcher up this door a little bit because I really shouldn't be left alone. So let's get this dialed. Holy moly, the white came out nice. Look at that. 
Now obviously with some overspray and stuff, I may end up just wet sanding that versus trying to polish it. And then, well, wet sand and polish it up. This is quite a nice little car. Now, we definitely have some pretty serious paint issues. Honestly, I probably should paint those fenders, let's be honest, that'll probably, that's probably coming in the future, whether or not it happens this year or not, I'm not too sure, but we'll see how the rest of the car turns out and what I really want to do with it. Um, so that's for leaving this video. Thank you very much for watching. As always, I appreciate every single one of you guys. Make sure you leave a comment below and all those good things. I love reading them and hopefully getting back to it. And uh, yeah, click the subscribe button. Now one last thing I'm gonna show you. This is what's coming up next. So you'll see, uh, I already did that one. Let's find another one. Right here. See there's this little, whoops. A little rock chip right there. And here's what we're gonna do to it. Paint soft, so we're gonna kind of trace it out. It's hard to do, I'm looking through the camera. So we're gonna go ahead and get the paint off of it. We're down to the kind of metal primer and all that below it. Now we polish it, it'll look like there's a little rock chip there. I'll do a couple more while we're at it. What else we got here? There's just a long one. Give her a little trace around. Oh, this one worked way better. It's almost like I'm playing uh, Operation here. The paint's so soft, it just comes off. So there we go, not, we're not hiding any of those blemishes. Um, so up here I already kind of went in, just kind of scratched this out, it had a little piece there. And we got a you know, couple there, couple there, couple there. Enjoy the next video. Hopefully you're not cringing too bad.